and docking. Right now, we're still tracking a docking time at 2.10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. After their post sleep forward, getting headwind by a crew arriving live up to 11 crew for handover. At a.m. Pacific or 10.38 a.m. GMT. The boost burn took place at 6.25 p.m. at 7.10 p.m. Pacific time or 2.10. From there at 8.34 p.m. Pacific, rounded out everything with a final uh, co-elliptic burn at 9.20 p.m. Pacific time. Dragon SpaceX for approach status. To approach initiation, the final stages of Dragon's rendezvous with the space station, the International Docking Standard. Once Dragon is only 20 meters away at waypoint two. Yeah, here's a, here's a graphic of the Dragon so you understand the scale. 27 feet tall and you can see the black uh, part on the trunk section that is at the bottom of your screen that's what Jesse was describing those are the solar arrays and they draw power and provide it for Dragon's flight to the International Space Station once it docks to the space station you see at the very top of your screen uh, sort of that slanted line towards the upper cone is the nose cone once that opens and is deployed uh, it docks to the International Space Station and an umbilical is attached providing uh, data and power and communications between the Dragon and Burn. Let's check in with Courtney Beasley in Houston. Courtney. This is when another spacecraft is flying in proximity to the station. The teams on the ground in Mission Control Houston and the systems on the station all remain a go to receive Dragon in a couple of hours. That's the latest from here in Mission Control. On the left is the view from the Crew Dragon capsule looking at the International Space Station. A little more than five minutes from now, scheduled for 12.31 a.m. Pacific Time for the big loop that loops in uh, the two front and create that seal for the suit. Directly uh, through the space station from top to, and that'll be the first waypoint. Some pumps uh, turning on and off. Wow, an incredible view. This is from the International Space Station looking at the Dragon. Looking at the station. Okay, and we have confirmation. We just passed waypoint zero, the service section Draco. Expected arrival at waypoint one at 0845. 45 waypoint one, Have the sun shining very bright on the International Space Station right there. From uh, the International Space Station, you can see very clearly the Terminator line. So that's the line between uh, light and dark now that's over the uh, North uh, Atlantic Ocean. The International Space Station on a northeasterly course. It will uh, cross over Great Britain when it gets uh, over the Atlantic Ocean, over the pond uh, to Europe. The first, uh, it will first cross over Great Britain. Moving to the right in front of the docking port. That's right, I just passed the marker waypoint zero. The closer waypoint one directly in front of the station is about 220 meters. Uh, so we'll get incrementally closer as it makes its way in front of the station. To the flight for the most part up until this point, uh, they've been flying around the Earth. And now you can kind of see how Dragon is swinging up to the uh, in front of the station because now you can see a portion of the space station. That's right, 
these uh, cameras on the truss segment of the International Space Station, so these cameras likely on the native as the station makes it's just like this for the approach and docking of the vehicles. Docking. Right now we're still tracking the docking time at 2.10 a.m. Pacific time. 40 minutes from now. So this will be the, uh, the last pass on the road for daylight. So for the remainder of our coverage until docking, so what you just heard from there, first of all, down on the earth, these beautiful shots, the International Space Station is just passing over Ireland, the body you see there is uh, the United Kingdom. Expected to come up in a little less than seven minutes. Check the C2 V2 common communication for visiting vehicles. There's a link for and closing within 220 meters to the point. Station, we are ready for the event. Mr. Jersey, please call station 4 please. 